my name is Ron. I go by Ron. Uh, my last name is Coot. And uh, I'm Cambodian. Um, and my restaurant is called Mekong Bistro. It is the only Cambodian restaurant here in the uh, state of Oregon. And we just started um, seven months ago in April. Uh, what's your clientele like? Are you aiming at Cambodian Americans or a broader audience? Uh, yeah, we are more for you know the uh, everybody. You know, our clientele right now is uh, mostly American, and um, you know mostly um, uh, other nationality other than Cambodian. But uh, we are hoping to. Uh, Get the word out more about you know to the Cambodian community here that we are uh, here you know so uh, but right now it's mostly um, you know American people and other people of other nationality. So why did you start a restaurant? Well, uh, you know I I uh, several years ago a couple years ago uh, my family. You know, most of my sisters, my brother-in-law, and my mom—they all lost their job, and I, you know, uh, was trying to figure out something to help them with. And uh, one thing that I came up with is to start a business, and so we can provide, uh, create jobs, and for for everyone. So uh, here, it, here we are. You know, what's your uh, most authentic dish and your least authentic dish? Okay, so we we serve uh, uh, we serve Cambodian food. Our, our main uh, food are, are Cambodian dishes, but uh, we also have Thai, a little bit of Thai, a few items, and a few items of Laos food as well too, and uh, a little bit a bit of Vietnamese. But uh, our main uh, theme is Cambodian cuisine. Uh, our most authentic is uh, Cha Krung, uh, some Lama Chu Krung, and also a Mok. Uh, and the least authentic, I would have to say, are you know, uh, Vietnamese uh, pho. <laughs> you know, it's con it's somewhat, you know, it it's pretty close to Cambodian noodle soup. You know, uh, so we we just have it uh, a combination of Cambodian uh, Vietnamese soup. So that's that's our least. But we have you know pad thai. Uh, the basic pad thai, pad pad ki mao, uh, for uh, Thai Thai noodle uh, dish, and then uh, for Laotian dish, we have uh, kapun soy, kapun. Uh, those are the uh, two uh, popular dishes for Laotian. Mekong Bistro is more than just uh, the food. You know, we are also get very involved with the community, and so uh, we want to showcase our culture. You know, one of uh, the things that I have uh, been uh, working on is the, uh, you know, the st statues or the hand-carved uh, st wall statues that I've been working on that. It's not yet complete, but it's almost there. And, uh, you know, uh, artworks, you know, paintings from, you know, from Cambodia. And, and also now we are uh, putting together a banquet hall uh, in hopes for you know uh, to have events uh, for Cambodian and other nationality to have events here uh, for weddings and, and whatnot so um, Mekong Bistro is a restaurant but uh, next to Mekong Bistro it's called the Eternity Hall Banquet Hall and uh, we will have a concert uh, and we're hoping to get more uh, concert every month you know we're hoping uh, next year or next year we're trying to see if we can get grips about to come here so and we're hoping to get the Laotian to get involved in this and have hopefully have the Laotian nights so we'll have Cambodian Vietnamese Laotian uh, nights for every weekend so. what's Portland like as a place to do business well I can tell you that uh, you know I am a, I guess it's called a, a pioneer, you know, it's a pilot <laughs> for, for the city of Portland. You know, uh, being the first Cambodian restaurant here, I know there's, in the past, uh, there, there there were some restaurants in the 90s that, you know, uh, 
there was the Apsara was run by one of my, my, my cousin and then she moved out to Long Beach and then uh, there was another restaurant, Cambodian family that started a restaurant in the 90s as well too but they're, they're gone and now like you know 20 years later um, I'm, I'm hoping to revive the Cambodian cuisine here uh, for the Portland, Oregon area and it's very hard, you know, it's very tough uh, being that, you know, we don't have any any restaurant here, you know, uh, and I'm hoping that what I'm doing now could uh, be an example for other Cambodians to uh, take the risk and, and hoping that they would start something, you know, uh, uh, a, little, a little restaurant, it doesn't have to be big or, or what not, but I want more Cambodian businesses to be uh, showcased and uh, up and, and, and running like Mekong Bistro is doing now. So, uh, What's your opinion on uh, Sok Sabai? There's a Cambodian food cart in Portland. Are you familiar with that? Yes, yes. So Sok Sabai is, uh, is great. Uh, you know, he, they, uh, they are a friend of mine, uh, you know, uh, Nino and, and and Tina and they're they're good friends of mine and and I'm I'm you know I'm I'm glad they they did the food cart and you know uh, it it's good to have uh, uh, a business uh, a restaurant a food service business to here in Portland because we want you know have diversity and one of the things that's missing is Cambodian cuisine and and I'm glad that they they open up a food cart you know. Uh, and they're doing really well. Their food, their foods are great. And you know, I've I've tried their food, and you know, I've recommended to many people. Suggest them that hey, if they're not if they're nearby the area, uh, stop by Soksabai and you know, uh, give those guys you know, a try because their food is uh, are, are good. You know, so um, I, I'm I'm glad, and I I fully support them, and I hope that uh, they them and myself can inspire other Cambodian to. You know, do more business, uh, start more business like this. Uh, if people want to find out more about Mekong Bistro, what's the best way? The best way to follow us is on Facebook. You know, Mekong Bistro on on Facebook, and we have a lot of updates there. What's going on, events and and food specials, and you know, even like uh, the community uh, events that's going on. We usually utilize the Mekong Bistro on Facebook page to. Uh, promote and, and advertise and, and, and get the words out. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Well, you know, I, I just want to say that, uh, like I said before, I'm hoping that with Mekong Bistro, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to inspire other Cambodians to take the risk and, and you know, do what uh, other people uh, are doing, which is, you know, um, get, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to give it a try, and you know, um, you you never know, and you never know what's gonna happen. I know it's gonna be hard work at first, but you know, my goal is to uh, let people know that you know Cambodia, where Cambodia is, and what kind of food, what kind of uh, thing, what kind of culture that we have. That it's more than just the the Khmer Rouge time, and so uh, you know, there, I my goal is to bring that awareness out there and through uh, the restaurant business and through the you know food, and uh, hoping that like I said inspire other Cambodian to to take that risk and take that next step to get our uh, get our name out there. Pra amor